Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to HITC Football. And today we're going to talk about a different topic than normal because we're going to talk about the 2022 World Cup kits. Some of these kits are already fully confirmed and others are leaked, but we have a bunch of them. We're just going to talk about it and let's see if these kits are any good. And if you want to see me do a part two because there are just way too many kits, hit the like button and leave a comment and then I will just make it happen. And while you're at it, also like the video and subscribe if you're new to the channel as well. But let's get right into this. We're starting off with Argentina and I have to say their home kit looks very similar to what they always have. Nothing surprising over here, but I have to be honest, I do see Messi lift the World Cup trophy in this one. It's just clean as always. I will We'll give this one 7 out of 10 because it's nothing special but it's still good and now let's look at Argentina wake it I don't know about this one they did some fancy modern pattern with the purple I have to be honest I don't like it I don't like it whatsoever I don't know it's they try too much on this one man I I'm not a big fan of this one I will just give this a 5 out of 10 it's not horrible it's not great but yeah I don't know 5 out of 10 for me next up is Belgium and oh my god this one absolutely sucks to be fair the front is clean nothing special but the sleeves is that fire there yeah to be fair you shouldn't have done that this completely ruins the kit if you ask me i oh, i'm not a big fan of this nah this one seriously gets a three out of ten their away kit is a little bit cleaner though just white with some colors on the logos but yeah also not great gets a five out of ten for me next up is brazil and just like with argentina their home kit always looks the same i understand that there's not really much room to play with they have a yellow kit and basically that's it some green accents they have like a pattern going on right here it's just clean isn't it it's just all right nothing special again just like argentina i think this one deserves a 7 out of 10 but then let's have a look at our away kit and uh, this one just is not it the clean blue shirt would have been way better but this whole thing with the sleeves that's going on it's just a little bit disgusting it I'm, I'm sorry it's just a little bit disgusting i don't know if somebody gave this to me i would burn it i honestly would burn it i you cannot be seen with this in public two out of ten let's let's not talk about this too much two out of ten Ugh. then we have costa rica the first new balance kit i think is the crest different than normal i think so i haven't seen that before or i'm blind that's also a possibility and what can you say about this it's red again the blue sleeve what's going on with all these sleeve things just make it a normal kit don't do all these extra things i mean yeah, this is this is nothing special five out of ten and now let's have a look at the croatia home kit they always have like this red and white thing going on the red and white checkers i mean but i think they forgot some squares where are the rest of the checkers and i get it they try to be fancy and modern but yeah this just didn't work man i will just give this a four out of ten i i'm not a big fan of it i'm just gonna say it i'm not a big fan of it but then the away kits they kind of did something but also it just might as well trigger a stroke for me yeah it's a little bit too much for me five out of ten in the croatia kits are just not in this year and then with the denmark kit this one also looks the same as always basically they have a hummel kit i think they're the only country that has hummel as a kit supplier but yeah this one is decent 6.5 out of 10 i think because it's just clean with the white and the red nothing crazy nothing special and their away kit exactly they kept it simple this is what i would like for all these other kits just plain black nice logo the hummel logo isn't that great but yeah another six out of ten just decent nothing special also nothing crazy going on that makes me feel on shrooms but yeah just all right just all right and let's move on to ecuador and again a nice kit i will give this one a seven out of ten the yellow looks good the pattern is also pretty nice i'm not gonna lie the crest looks pretty sick the only thing is the kit supplier is marathon i've never heard of that before but yeah this one is pretty decent the seven out of ten for me and they're awake it now this is what we're talking about i really like this one the pattern is sick the color are absolutely amazing i love what they've done with the crest as well again the thing that kind of ruins it a little bit is the marathon but if that would be adidas or nike i'm not gonna lie that would be a 10 out of 10 but because of the marathon i will give it a 9 out of 10 but very clean i'm definitely looking forward to seeing this in the world cup and in the comments down below tell me what you think of this shirt and while you're at it like the video and subscribe as well if you're new to the channel because why not and then we have england away and nike man you i don't know what this is this just is not it this just is not it again with the sleeves oh my days i see i see a recurring pattern going on here literally you're ruining every single kit just make it blue if you want that color combination going on because apparently the color combination is a throwback to the 1990s but yeah not in this way man three out of ten Ugh, this is not good the away kit on the other hand looks a little bit better i like the red it's always very clean as an england away kit the color is pretty good the color of the night logo and the crest are not necessarily great but yeah this one at least gets a passing great for me 6.5 out of 10 i guess yeah that seems about right and then we have france and i'm not 
gonna lie guys this is our first 10 out of 10 the color of the kit is sick the pattern as well looks really clean no weird stuff going on which is already a big plus and the gold of the crest and the nike logo oh i would rock this although i'm not gonna because i'm not french and i have nothing to do with france but yeah this is mad 10 out of 10 for sure france gonna win another world cup in this one i don't think so i don't think so but the kit looks nice i mean at least they have that going for them and then the away kit yeah no you ruined it you had a great home kit but this just completely ruins it yeah i, I think i can see some french landmarks on there the arc de triomphe and stuff but it just looks too like it looks too old for me man i don't like it this could have been something from the 1960s i yeah i'm not a big fan this one gets a four out of ten i'm i i don't like this one i have to be honest i don't like this one at all and then we have germany and i see a lot of people that like this kit the home kit i'm talking about obviously and it's good it's nice it, it looks pretty clean i have to say they've done something different and to be fair they actually succeeded which is pretty special i'm not gonna lie this actually looks very clean yeah this is sick actually they made a really nice kit oh this one is this one up there with friends i don't know i phew, i think that's difficult am i gonna give this a 10 out of 10 again yeah i think i should i think i should it's really sick i really like this kit yeah fuck it i'll give this a 10 out of 10 again because it's sick it actually it is mad and i like that they tried something new with this kit and it actually succeeded they actually managed to make a nice kit so well done adidas so both nike and adidas have won 10 out of 10 that's pretty sick i'm not gonna lie that's really sick and then the away kit is not as great again the gold looks really clean i think that's a very nice feature in a kit if it's not overdone obviously but this is actually pretty good as well i don't know about the pattern though but it's decent 6.5 out of 10 germany have some solid kits this year i'm not gonna lie and next up is ghana a puma kit and i love the detail they have on the sleeve because it's not overdone it's nice it adds something i understand why the star is there but it's a little bit too prominent for my liking but it's decent it's a 6 out of 10 for me it's not bad but then the away kit Ugh. i'm not gonna lie this looks like a knockoff shirt that you buy on a beach somewhere because this is this is just not it and the square thing as well on the front is the shirt number gonna fit in there oh no they really ruined this one this is oh my god this is really bad this might be yeah this is i'm sorry but this is our first one out of ten i don't like this one whatsoever it's horrible don't ever buy this then we have the home kit for iran and i don't know about this one well to be fair i actually do know about this one i don't like it the kit supplier the m i've never seen that before i cannot tell where that's from oh wait it says majid majid i never i never heard of that kit supplier ever and there's a pretty good reason for that because they don't make good kids judging from this one at least because what is that strange stripe that's going on on the top red and the green and the little faded part in white i no this is this, this is not good this for me is just a clear two out of ten this is this is this is not great and you wake it it's literally the same but instead of making it white they made it red no imagination just it I, I'm not gonna name more things. It just looks horrible. This one is potentially worse than the home kit. This one literally gets a 1 out of 10. I'm not gonna lie, man. Watching a run in the World Cup will literally hurt my eyes with these kits. That's not great. They did not do a good job here. I'm, I'm sorry, but they just didn't. So guys, that's it. Part 1 is done. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to see part 2. And while you're at it, also tell me what you think is the best and the worst kit out of this video. Be sure to like the video, subscribe, click my videos on the end screen right now. And I'll see you all in my next video. Peace.